hello and welcome back to my channel today in this video we are going to discuss past year paper from october november 2020 and we are going to discuss paper 5 probability and statistics 1 970953 so let's start with question number one and here's the question number one the times taken to swim 100 meters by members of a large swimming club have a normal distribution with mean 62 seconds so it is mu and standard deviation 5 seconds so it is mu uh, sorry sigma a part is find the probability that a randomly chosen member of a club of the club takes between 56 and 66 seconds to swim 100 meters so it is normal distribution so we'll write x as so it is n times and of the parameters are mu and sigma square so 62 and 5 square and the probability according to this we can write to find this probability x to be greater than 56 and less than 66 and in the standard normal distribution we'll write z so z is greater than 56 minus mu 62 over sigma 5 less than 66 minus mu that is 50 62 upon 5 so now we will solve it and we have this as 56 minus 62 is minus 6 by 5 z and less than 66 minus 2 is 4 4 upon 5 or we can write it as probability of minus 1.2 less than z is less than 0 0.80 so this is going to be phi of the maximum value 0 0.80 minus phi of minus 1.2 which is of course this fit is negative we can see from the distribution graph this is minus 1.2 and this is 0 0.8 so in order to find this value we will find this because they are same so it is going to be 0 0.5 uh, 5 of 0 0.80 minus 1 minus 5 of 1.8 so it become plus 5 of 1.2 minus 1 so these values from the distribution tables are 0 0.7881 plus 0 0.8849 minus 1 which will become 0.673 so that's the probability that a randomly chosen member of the club takes between 56 and 66 seconds to swim 100 meters let's discuss the next part here's the b part 13 percent of the members of the club take more than t minutes minutes earlier it was given the normal distribution was in the seconds so we will write t minutes t minutes as t into 60 60 t seconds so we will deal with only seconds because it is given in the seconds everywhere uh, to swim 100 meters find the value of t so let's take this t that is 60 t seconds somewhere here because only in that case this would be the probability would be 13 percent because they are talking about more than t minutes more than t minutes means more than 60 t seconds it is going to be 30 30 13 percent so now we can guess about this we can use this it is going to be 87 percent and hence we'll write this probability as probability of x greater than t as 0 0.13 or probability of x less than t would be 0 0.87 why we have written it so that we can uh, use the phi e easily and this become in the standard normal distribution z is less than uh, sorry it is 60 t 60 t here also so 60 t minus mu mu is 62 over sigma that is 5 is equal to 0 0.87 now we will write directly 60 t minus 62 over 5 is equal to phi inverse of 0 0.87 and it is positive because it is towards the 
right hand side of the mean so from the distribution table it is 1.127 and hence 60 t would be 5 into 1.127 plus 62 from the calculator now we can see it is 67.635 and hence t would be 67.635 over 60 and this answer is 1.12725 which is 1.13 seconds oh, sorry not seconds it, it was in minutes so it is minutes that's the answer of value of t let's do the next question here's the question number two an ordinary fair die is thrown until a six is obtained means it is we are going to deal with the geometric distribution and find the probability that obtaining a six takes more than eight throws so if x is the number of throws obtain uh, to obtain the first success is x so it is going to be geometric with the probability of getting a six it is of course one by six because in the die the probability of getting six is one by six now the probability to find is probability of x greater than eight which is going to be failure all the eight times because we require at least eight means more than eight uh, throws to get the first success it means we know that at uh, for these eight times we are going to get the failure so it is 5 over 6 to the power all 8 so this value is 0 0.2325 and so on so it is going to be 0 0.233 that's the probability that obtaining a 6 takes more than 8 throws now the second part two ordinary fair dice are thrown together until a pair of six is obtained the number of throws taken is denoted by the random variable x find the expected value of x so let me scroll it up and now we are only focusing on the six is obtained so first success so it is again geometric so in geometric the expected value expectation of x is 1 upon p so it means we only need to find the probability of getting a pair of 6 so a pair of 6 probability is going to be 1 over 36 that is the expected value is 36 and c part find the probability that obtaining a pair of 6 takes either 10 or 11 throws so it means we are only going to talk about these two throws and since it is still geometric and the probability would be probability of success in this case means probability of getting 6 as a pair so it is of course 1 by 6 1 sorry 1 by 36 no so we need to find the probability of x is equal to either 10 or or means plus probability of x is equal to 11 and in x is equal to 10 this x is equal to 10 means previous nine times it was failure and the 10th place it is the success so failure means of course q and q we can calculate it is going to be 1 minus 1 over 36 that is 35 over 36 35 over 36 to the power 9 and the last 10th value is 1 over 36 plus same for 11 first 10 times it was not a success the last one is a success so now we will calculate these two values so from the calculator this value is 0 0.042515 and so on and that is going to be directly 0.0425 till 3 significant figure so that's the probability i hope it is clear let's discuss the next question now now here's the question number three a committee of six people is to be chosen from nine women and five men 
find the number of ways in which six people can be chosen if there must be more women than men on the committee so the first case is we can take all the six women if we take all the six women so it means there is no man so 0 m next one it can be five women then one man then again because total should be six then four women and of course in that case two men and now we cannot go for the further rate because then it would be three women and three men of course which, which will not satisfy the condition so we will find this to these three selections only so we can choose six women out of nine in nine c six ways and then five no women so no need to write it is only you can be done it can be done in one ways then again 9 c 5 into 5 c 1 and for the last one 9 c 4 into 5 c 2 so we will calculate now these values 9 c 6 9 c 6 is 84 then 9 c 5 multiplied by 5c1 that is 5 of course so it is going to be 630 and the last one is 5 9c4 and 5c2 5c2 is 10 so it is 1 2 6 0 now we will add them all to get the total number of ways plus this plus 84 and it is going to be total number of ways total number of ways is 1974 so that is the answer I hope it is clear let's discuss the next part of this question the nine women and five men include a sister and brother Find the number of ways in which the committee can be chosen if the sister and brother cannot be, cannot both be on the committee. So we will find in the, we can do in two ways, like one, once we include sister and not the brother and then brother, not the sister. So what we are going to do in other way round, first of all, we, we are going to make a committee of six people out of whole and then we'll subtract where no both of them are not together so it means total ways minus number of ways when both are not there both are not there so number of ways means we have 14 people and we need to choose 6 so that is the total number of ways minus number of ways when both are not there so if both are not there it means 1 9 minus 1 that is 8 people and then 5 minus 1 there are 4 people 4 men so there are 8 4 12 people out of them we are going to select only four because two are already selected so 14 c6 14 c6 value is 3003 minus 12 12 c4 is 495 so 3003 minus this is 2508 so these are the total number of ways and here is question number four the 1300 train from Jehor to Kaman runs every day the probability that the train arrives late in Kaman is 0 0.35 for a random sample of seven days find the probability that the train arrives late on fewer than three days so here it is going to be n n is equal to 7 and probability of late arriving at arriving late 
we'll take it as take it as p p as 0.35 and hence the q would be 0.65 that is arriving on time it is a binomial so we will take x as and b and p and is 7 p is 0.35 the probability is probability of x less than 3 which would be probability of x is equal to 0 1 and 2 so it is 7 c 0 and 0 0.35 to the power 0 and 0 0.65 to the power 7 plus 7 c 1 0 0.35 to the power 1 and 0 0.65 to the power 6 and the last one 7 c 2 0 0.35 to the power 2 and 0 0.65 to the power 5 now we will calculate it and this answers from the calculator is going to be 0 0.049022 so 0 plus I'm writing till four decimal places and then it is going to be 0 0.18477 so I'll write 8 plus 0 0.298488 so 5 so now we will add them 5 8 13 and then 8 4 12 9 21 uh, 12 9 21 so 2 and 21 and 22 here of course because it was 8 5 13 then 9 8 17 4 21 plus 2 23 and here 2 to 4 1 5 so it is 0 0.5323 so so the till three significant figure it is going to be 0 0.532 that's the probability now a random sample of 140 days is taken so n here is 142 use an approximation so pre p was 0 0.35 so we'll calculate np which is going to be which is going to be np is going to be 49.7 and and Q is also 92.3 which is more than 5 so we will use the approximation binomial approximation as normal so this become normal and hence the parameters for normal distribution is NP and NPQ NP as 49.7 and the variance is 32.305 so the probability which we want to find is probability of x more than 40 so we'll use since it is discrete to no, uh, continuous so we'll use the continuity correction and here we know if we are going further if you're going ahead of 40 not including 40 it means we have to exclude this bar means we are going to go more than this 40.5 so x would be more than 40.5 in the standard normal distribution it is zero z is greater than 40.5 minus 49.7 over standard deviation so it's square root of 32.305 and this value is probability of z is greater than minus 1.1619 minus 1.619 and now we will see the distribution graph so that we can see clear, clearly what we need to find we have this z as minus 1.619 and more than that means we require this region and this is exactly same as if we take the positive corresponding value and then you find this area it is going to be phi of positive 1.619 and this value is 0.947 that's the answer and that's it for this video let's meet again in the next video within the next video with the last three questions till then thank you so much